Well, today is our last day at Lazy Days. We've been here for, I believe, 12 days. Um, we went to the show. Um, we went into Tampa, um, Ybor City, did the River Rock. All of that was pretty fun. Today we go to Water's Edge RV Resort. Um, it's on Lake Okeechobee. Maybe go on a diet, or at least try to this time. That was our plan. After we left Tampa, we were going to hit the diet deal. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Being in parks like this is okay once in a while, maybe for a few days. Um, after being here for 12 days, these sites seem to like close in on you, especially over the weekend with the weekend warriors. But for the most part, we had a good time. We met Jeff and Zelda yesterday. We had uh, we mixed up some rum runners. Uh, we had good conversation. So we hope to see you guys out there again, or out here again, some somewhere, maybe Ormond Beach. That's coming in March, in April. End of March to April will be in Ormond Beach. That concludes our trip here at Lazy Days. Hopefully we have a good time for the next 24 days in uh, Water's Edge. We're making our way and we're going through Bartow or something like that, Bartow. Yeah. So this road is like straight and flat and a bunch of lanes and man, I don't understand why they can't time traffic lights. Why you can't make it to where if you do the speed limit, when you get a green light, you should get the next green light. That's, that's just the way it's normally, at least in Ohio, most of the places are like that, unless it's in the city and there's a lot of side traffic. Claremont was like that. Yeah, yeah, right. If you do the speed limit, the lights will change. I mean, it's not hard to coordinate that stuff. This isn't rocket science. <laughs> I mean, there's so many computer programs out there now that would be able to handle it. But the drive's pretty uneventful once we got off of I-4. And even the... Uh, the, the turnpike, the pay pass, sun pass, or whatever that turnpike was. Um, this part of the drive is very rural feeling, even though I see a lot of, you know, street lights and power poles and stuff like that. It, it still feels very open and rural. So, uh, we'll be there in a little while. I don't know how much longer. 12, 1, and what time is it now? It's 10 minutes, so an hour, two hours? Yeah, we got about two hours to get there. But, yep, hopefully the drive stays this way the whole time, and I'll be fine with that. How about you? Yep. Here's another traffic light. Yeah, Looks like we light. might it, make this one. We might one. make it, and we've been doing the speed limit. No. We haven't made... Look, those people just got released, so... <laughs> That's yeah, weird. Yeah, I guess... Well, I don't know. I, I just think it's it's strange. All right. One and a half miles. Uh -oh. Be in the third lane from the left. Then turn left on East Van Fleet Drive. Third lane from the left. Now that's a funny way to say <laughs> things. How can you be in the third lane from the left? When I'm just gonna get in the middle and figure it out. <laughs> Alright, we'll pick this up a little bit. This is one of the things that a lot of people don't realize about Florida. We've mentioned it before, but Florida's not all about beaches and palm trees. And there's a lot of farm country and stuff out there. And you can see I'll hide and show you guys. We've been driving this for a long time. Uh, we're just out in the middle of nowhere. And if you look at the GPS even, you can see there's there's just nothing. I mean, there's just, this road is just straight. Uh, we go over a little bit of water, but there's really nothing here until we get over to 91. And I mean, you're talking a long ways um, before we get there. Uh, so farmland is in Florida. Groves, we passed, Heidi was pointing out a bunch of orange groves. And, you know, a little town will pop up here and there, but this is uh, this is also part of Florida. <laughs> not, not just beaches and palm trees, and not all cities and traffic. So that's what we're heading to. We're heading to something that's a little bit more relaxed. And if we see anything else exciting, like the world's biggest UFO yard ornament or something, we'll show you. <laughs> Right, guys, right on Southeast here we are. Drive. We then are turn right. at the place we need to be. Seasonal monthly overnight. Well, we're gonna try monthly. <laughs> or close, close to, to monthly. It. So 
Arriving at right. Water's oh, Edge yeah, Motor Coach and Carpet Resort on the right. Everybody talks same time. <laughs> so far, the area looks real nice. There's some really run down parks here, though. I mean, the, some of these parks are really run down, but I think you'll see that this one's not the case um, so far. Just the over. I can't wait to give you an overview of this park. <laughs> We're literally going to be able to walk it in just a few minutes. So, um, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see what's required for us to get in, and boy, it was a nice, easy drive. It's just, it was long and straight and not a lot to see. It's kind of what we wanted, though, at this point. It's funny, Heidi wished for all this stuff to do, and we, we, we got it, you know, um, in Tampa, and then we got burned out from it, like, right away. She says, I just want to sit and relax somewhere. I said, I agree. So we made it to Water's Edge RV Resort in Okeechobee, Florida. That's the clubhouse. On the other side is the swimming pool. And uh, these sites are very nice. This is our site. All nice and paved, asphalt, um, sunny. Look at the sky, it's beautiful. Um, we got the Okeechobee lake out there we'll see that later but what a beautiful what a beautiful resort it's only i believe like 30 spots and uh yes it's beautiful it's beautiful here um we did go from beloit ohio to okeechobee florida and we didn't run away from the jake breaks so we got that going for us but i'm sure it'll be all right Here's to the next 23 days. Well, just checking out the park's free Wi-Fi that they have here. And man, 64 download and the upload is almost 15. <laughs> just shy of 15. So kudos to a real internet connection that is, we'll say free, but you know, obviously you're paying for your site. But yeah, that's nice. That, that's not bad at all. morning good morning youtube so we're uh we stayed here last night for our first night and the uh, park itself is silent as far as the park the road behind us not so much there's a period of time that it was it's pretty loud that is a highway behind us and they are moving at 55 to 65 miles an hour when they go past which i don't think that's the speed limit but uh, some of the trucks that went through, I mean, we, we could feel it in the floor of the, the RV. And, of course, that has to do with the site. I don't think we could be any closer to the road than what we are here. Yeah. The, these are roadside sites. The more you go in that direction, further back in the park, um, the further you get away from the road because the road's at an angle. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I don't think that it is at an angle, now I think about it. But... I'll have to say that um, kind of different when you get here there's a mailbox that's outside the gate um, I wasn't told that we'd have a package or a packet that was there uh, so at the at the gate um, we were kind of waiting as you saw and uh, there was a guy that was riding a bike around that's something else even though this park is only 30 30 spots 30 places there are like five people that ride their bikes around in circles all day long here, <laughs> which is really funny. Uh, when uh, ideally, you if you just drove your vehicle with your bike in it two miles away, um, you could get on a trail that's a hundred miles and you wouldn't have to see the same circle. But I mean, it's all paved. It's nice here. It's uh, safe. We'll, we'll show you obviously more of the park. Yeah, definitely safe. Um, the park is so small as far as sites the gate that you get in and go out they give you a garage door opener and a <laughs> gate opener in this case everybody gets a gate opener which is kind of cool i would think that you'd need two of them though for you know if we had two vehicles but we, we don't have that going on um we are going to run to the ups store because uh when we bought our new phones uh T-Mobile messed up. This is the first time really that they messed up really bad. And instead of getting one phone free, they were charging me for it. 
And the first time I called, they said, oh, don't worry, one billing cycle, that will correct itself. And then the second time I called, they said, oh, uh, that one's not free. You, you know, they didn't do this, you didn't do that, whatever. So we um, uh, are going to uh, continue to keep our phones, obviously. And now I do not have to keep a fourth line. Uh, so we'll, well, actually, five, we have five lines. One's our son's, though. So we're going to get rid of one of our lines. And the phone, which the phone, that's one nice thing, is if you keep new enough phones, you know, this one we've had for, when do we go to Surfside? 18, I think. Yeah, 2018, when this first came out. And the phone still worth, I put it in the mail, it's worth $415. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the Lake uh, Okeechobee. We're actually going to the city, Okeechobee, I guess it would be. And uh, we got to go to the UPS store. I think we got to. Uh, Heidi wants to do shopping at Aldi's. Is that today? Yeah. It don't have do to it. be. We can just go look and see what's. See where it's at. Yeah. I mean, we're okay with food for the time being. We, we could use a little more. Uh, but that'll let us get back here and explore the park during the daytime and uh, see what the laundry's like, stuff like that. Um, but as far as site wise, I'll just give you, which we've already talked about, Heidi's already showed. I'm telling you, I've never seen a more manicured park. I mean, it's perfectly lavishly <laughs> set up with plants and whatever. I mean, it's just perfect mulch. I mean, just everything. It's it's just perfect. Everything's perfect. The the the, the paver stones are perfect, and it seems odd. I mean, this is definitely definitely odd. I thought it'd be more park like but the good news is is there is there's a park that's waterfront that's full blown access that you just walk out which again we'll show you that later so anyways we're uh, we're out of here and we'll we'll pick this up like I said we've got a lot to to talk about here I'll have to say after being in this park yeah the, the, the all the rigs here you know pretty nice got a river river stone over there and there's a solitude which that's pretty nice Montana there's an older fifth wheel over there but yeah it's it's all bigger, newer stuff. So Heidi told me to find the closest RV dealer so we can get a new RV. Mm -hmm. and that's what she said. All right, we're out of here. So we had to uh, succumb to the temptations of Taco Bell. We haven't had Taco Bell in a long time. It's been a while. So where are we at? We're in the city of Okeechobee. Um, and this is Flagler Park. It's just a park that was down from Taco Bell and we decided to stop at it. It's really cool. Uh, how how old the town is I guess you could say um, but yeah we're, we're it's a it's a nice day today and it's not even the warmest part of the day there's even a breeze it's pretty nice yeah it's not bad so the uh, traffic out here uh, it, it, it's there's a lot of trucks that come through here I don't know what the deal is but there's definitely a lot of trucks that come through there so again here's the park and of course there's more behind us. I'll show you that real quick. Kaboom. And we're just sitting here watching the traffic go by. Bunch of pawn shops down here also. But you can see kind of this older, you know, small town USA type stuff going on with new stores in there. What do you think about this place? I mean, Probably, about, about the yeah. city. <laughs> you don't think much about it. Oh, there, oh, we're under the big flag, too. For uh, the population being less than 6,000, it's awful busy. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I don't know where all this traffic's coming from. But yeah, this is uh, this is what we're doing so far today. Uh, we're potentially going to go look at RVs. See Heidi's face really? change? Yeah, it's on our way back. Heidi, uh, I mean, it's kind of... Um, why we got Taco Bell because we were both hungry and I said hey there's an RV dealer I said they got flagstaffs there I wonder if they got the one that we want to look at and she says we ain't going out until we get something to eat <laughs> we had to go to the UPS store like I well we've both been up since like 6 yeah. something yeah so yeah I was I was definitely getting hungry it's, it's noon now mm, I don't think it's quite noon because it was like only 10 something when we left really? on that long Oh, so it's not new. Uh, maybe it's 11. 
All right, we'll let we'll let you guys go. I'm shooting this with Heidi's phone because I left all my stuff in the truck. Too lazy to walk back over there. But look at Heidi's old store too. Let me see if I can yeah, zoom in here. This is the smallest advanced auto parts, <laughs> and it is weird looking. No, the other one we were in was smaller. Oh yeah, the it one we the one we were in the other day was smaller, but <laughs> that looks weird. It looks like an old Western Auto or something. I don't even know what to call that. All right, that's it for now. So we stopped at an RV dealer. Uh, it's right outside the KOA. And let me tell you that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what makes people comfortable buying RVs. And that's looking at RVs. And let me just give you a once around of what this place looks like. Here's some Flagstaff. We, we thought, well, well, we'll go in and look at them just to see what they're like. There's three of them there. A couple other ones over there. But we had to come in this gate that's back here. I don't know if you can see it in the mirror. We'll go ahead and flip you around. Maybe you can see it better that way. But we had to come through that gate. That's the KOA campground entrance right there. But we had to come through that gate first. So we come through the gate. Uh, we pull in. We park right here. There's the door. I mean, that's like the main door. Double doors with stickers on it and all kinds of stuff telling you to wear a mask, I'm sure. And then we walk to these RVs, and they're all locked up, even though there's a gate there. This whole place is fenced in all the way around. Yet, it is beautiful today, and they have their units locked up. They, they won't let you in there. Now, I'm sure you guys say, oh, it's probably COVID. Well, regardless if it's COVID or not, we've been here for 10 minutes. And we were outside walking around these three units right in front of their door, basically, to where they could see us for a, a few of those minutes, so five of those minutes at least, because we were reading the model numbers and we were trying to get the floor plans and stuff like that. Nobody came out. So that tells me they're getting paid hourly. They don't care about commission, or maybe they don't even have commission. And eh, they sell it, they sell it. Well, not to us. All right, guys, so this isn't going to feed Heidi and I. <laughs> we would throw it back anyway. We were going to yeah. try to feed yeah, it's the... too small. It's just a little tiny bass. I think that's a sand hill crane. Yeah, so we're going to try to throw it to the bird over there. So it there it goes. Aw, how precious. He was waiting, yeah, or she was waiting. She yeah. gobbled that down. Yeah, the... The very first time we got it, the fish that was on the line, as I was pulling it up, it, it wiggled off the line. It was a tiny sunfish. The bird perked up. <laughs> and he was way down there, and all of a sudden the bird showed up here. So I knew it was waiting. <laughs> Today's laundry day, and this is the laundry that we have why we here at Water's Edge Resort. It's pretty nice, clean, two bucks for wash, two bucks for dry. So that's my morning. So this is our life now. <laughs> Just out here fishing. The drinking comes a little later, but fishing. I know you're supposed to be drinking and fit. We got to go to the store though a little bit later. Um, everybody that uh, we were hanging out with, uh, they have a little get together for football. So we're going to do a, what's that thing called? Not like a potluck, I guess, sort of. Mm, if Bringing an appetizer. Bringing an appetizer. So. Uh, what can we say that we haven't said before? Oh, Monday, we plan on going, doing an airboat ride. That'll be fun. The weather is extremely nice. It's not even, this is the coolest day of the week. 
right now it's 70 it'll be 74 today I think so. and this is what they call I don't know what the deal is mostly cloudy which it is over that way here I'll flip you guys around it is over there and it, I mean it obviously is definitely partly cloudy um, mostly cloudy but not here so far maybe it'll be like that a little bit later